Hey everybody, this is Brandon. Welcome to the second tutorial of Open Element. In this one, we're going to go over all the standard elements that you would place in your page and use. And we're going to go over how to set the styles and properties. Actually, mostly these are going to be just set in the style and customize. So first, we're going to start with element. Oh, and something else I did want to show you real quick. If you hit these pins right here, it actually will move and so you get a bigger view of your web page. You could also, if you want to, pick it up and pull it out and move it around. And like if, for example, I have a second monitor, so I could move mine to this other monitor. That's what I usually do with mine. But I'm leaving it out here so that way you guys can see where I'm, what I'm grabbing it. Because uh, my recording software only records one of my monitors at a time. But first we're going to start with frame. Now frame, we pull it out, drag it, set it. We go over here to styles. There's a style presets. Alright. Hit cloud library. Now this, you can actually go through and select several different styles of frame that you want. Select it, automatically makes it. Transparent gray. Which is interesting over a gray background. You can't really notice that it is transparent. And see, whenever you do that, you could also go to properties. I believe you could. No, not that. I'm sure there's a way you could probably adjust how transparent it is. But also, another thing you can do with these is actually create title bars. Um, so, what we'll do with this is we'll auto center it to the page. Hit customize, and under width, I put auto. So it automatically stretches to the edges of the page. So if we were to go to preview, see what it looks like there. We open it up, it stretches all the way out. Just like that. And so that's how it adjusts and moves and stretches. Close that. And see when you go down, it only goes down so small. You know, that's where setting up the minimum width of the main layer came into play. Um, next is link to us. And don't be afraid to go through and look at all the different uh, style presets it has. And don't forget, we get to the bottom of this whole list. It Typically it says 25 of 54. I had already clicked this once, but you can click it again and open up four more. Now you get all of them. And there's some of these lists that are like 150 long, like the buttons. And there's just a ridiculous amount of buttons you can choose from. And a lot of people don't realize that you open up and set the styles under style presets. Of, uh, and you can actually take this tab, the style tabs, and move it close to the elements. So it's right there. Actually, that's what I did a lot of the times. It set elements, styles, properties, and then packs at the end. Because I didn't use packs until last night. But um, link to us. Now this sets a link to open element. And see, it opens up a little description right here. Show your support by adding a link to open element. It literally gives a small description of each of them. As you grab it, you drag it out. And what it cr has is there's this outer box that surrounds some text and an image. Now you could delete the text and have just the, the image, or you could have the website created with open element. Again, double select it. You could adjust the size. You could adjust the fonts. And so you can make it customized to your website. And say you, you place it on the right side. Well, since we're doing an auto width website, you need to go, oh, again, here you go, style presets. You get three different uh, images that you can choose for the image in there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this to sit on the right side and not on the left. Every element automatically snaps to the left side distance. 
And so we're going to delete that, go down here to right distance, and we'll go 30 pixels away from the edge of the screen. So it doesn't matter how wide the screen is, it's always 30 pixels away from the edge. Just like that. And so whenever we go to preview, see the page is too small, so we bring it over, it's 30 wide. Expand it out, it goes over and stays at 30 wide, and it stays the same distance from the top. And so that's how, select that, 30 distance from the right, 160 pixels from the top. And so that's its position from now on. <laughs> and so that's what you do with the this. And you can actually go in and say, you know, get rid of website, just say created, and you can delete that and make that uppercase. Whoops. Control Z. Control Z is a hotkey for undo, by the way. Why won't. Huh. Well, that was weird. It wouldn't let me make that uppercase before. I kept deleting the whole thing. But, yeah, Control Z is your friend, too. I mean, something messes up, you hit Control Z, and it undoes what happened. But a lot of times, I will say this, whenever you do these style settings, save it. Save the page. Especially when you do the auto width. For example, let's look at this, see if it's, yep, it's still auto. See, it's when you place these, it's always best to save it before you start messing with other elements. I didn't stay real true to that right now, but um, saving it after redoing these styles, because sometimes they will, it will change this number to what the width is right now on the monitor, and it, therefore it won't go auto whenever you open it up on the main layer. Um, horizontal line it's literally that it's a horizontal line and again you go to style style presets open up the cloud library and now you can go through and choose what kind of line you want you want dot a line you want open element line there's not a whole lot of lines that you can choose from there's a I know there's a way you could upload them, I just haven't messed with that yet. Yeah, import style presets. <clears throat> so if you can find a style preset for a line, then you could upload it. Alright, and so we have, you know, let's do this. Take this, place that right there. Why not? We'll set that there. But I want to show you this real quick. When you open it up, it's way over here now. Shrink it down. Well, it's in position again. It's because it's set to left distance right now. It's not set to right, and that's what happens. So that's why it's always good to go into here. Go into Customize under Styles. And again... Set this to 10 and 0. Delete that. Actually, you don't want 0, you want it deleted because it will go to 0 pixels distance. <laughs> I learned that one before. And then you have vertical lines, the same as horizontal. Well, they're not exactly the same, they're going to have different styles, I imagine. Yeah, you only get 5. Let's do that. Why not? We're going to throw a few elements into here. We'll have this sit on the left side. So we can just place it. If it's on the left side, you can just place it. 
it'll keep that left distance. Um, image. All right. This you grab, you drag out, you drop. You could you select your image. Now here's the something that you should do also is optimize. You optimize the image for the web. So this is going to drop 33% in size, which is going to make it load faster. Now if you have some high def pictures because you're wanting to do a um, like a type of photo gallery that you want really good pictures and good clear pictures in, I would suggest doing the thumbnail images of an optimized version and have it click in to another page with the full image. That way you don't have a ton of high def images slowing down the loading speed. Now when it pops up, it's huge. The picture is huge. You can just grab it at the bottom corner. And it only happens on this bottom right hand corner. You grab it, and you can shrink it down. And I went way too far up. You don't want to go too far up where you can't grab it and pull it back down. There we go. Now we got an image in here. Now we could place this. And since we're going to let it stay from the left side, that's a good distance right there. Now we got single line text. Grab the single line text, we drag it out, drop it. This, you simply type in what you want to do. Go picture. And we'll place it right here. And since it stays from the left side, it'll stay with position with the picture as well. But you could also grab the picture and auto center it. Grab that. Auto center. Yes. That's saying if it's a, it has to be a fixed value. Um, a lot of times what happens is it gets too close to the E and, or the last letter. So you grab this, as you can tell, it dropped right there. It's because in the, actually in the website, it would drop down. And so you pull it out, you create a little bit of a gap on this side. Um, that way it doesn't drop the picture down below. For some reason it does that. So if we were to preview this, this is what it looks like. Then here we have a table. Table is literally a table. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's I need to change the background image, hold on, or color. Because it does have little lines on the inside. And see here's your cloud library. It's loading all of it right now. That's why it's slowing down. There it goes. You could choose a color of the table. 25 of 42. So you got a bunch of t different colors to choose from. You add a row. You add a column. Delete the selected row. Delete a selected... This is delete a selected row. <clears throat> this is mistyped. This should be delete a select, selected column. And this is a uh, insert a row. This is insert a column, and this is to insert a style zone. And see if you were to double tap in, if you just type into it real quick, it actually stretches it out. So it actually creates a table. Um, and the last standard element is multi-line text. You drag it, you drop it out, and this is where you Oh stupid mouse, stay. That's where you create your paragraphs. And so you could adjust the size of the box as well. Move it over here. There we go. We'll set the table there. But those are all the standard elements that you use. Place you can use this as the 
header actually will do is copy oh digging at me something I wanted to show you right now we'll call it cool picture um, I'm going to show you about the backgrounds and foregrounds. See if the right now I have the um, frame selected. If I hit this as foreground, it would go over the cool picture. If I hit as background, it's going to drop behind the cool picture. All right, um, and so that that's simple. If you just need this cool picture as foreground and the red as a background, and that that would work good. But if you were to do another frame, this time we'll do, no, yeah, we'll do a black. We'll drop this in size, something like that. Double click on cool picture, do a lighter blue. Put this over the top. What we're gonna do is go over the selection and hit backward twice and get it behind cool picture but above red I don't know exactly I think there's like 10 different layers preset but um, you can triple layer things by doing back backwards and forwards now you could actually have this go you know do th five or six different layers of colors if you wanted but that's how you layer stuff <coughs> one on top of another is by using the background the backward and forward background goes all the way back foreground goes all the way forward and that's just an overlay position so that's how all that works the next tutorial I'm actually going to go over um, all the navigation elements so until then, I will see you guys and have a building.